Millions of Americans are predicted to take to the skies this holiday season. And even if you're not one of them, you know what I'm about to say is totally true. Flying is the worst. Seats seem to be getting smaller, flight attendants grumpier, and delays way more disruptive. Sure, ticket prices dropped in 2015, but complaints against airlines went up. So why does flying suck so much? Well, the airline industry was already in decline since the 1970s, but the 9-11 attacks, the 2008 financial collapse, and rising oil prices made things worse. It got so bad that the US airline industry lost a whopping $55 billion between 2001 and 2009. So airlines had to look for ways to cut back. One way was by slashing the number of domestic flights over the last decade. Mid-sized airports like ones in Cincinnati or Albuquerque have seen the biggest cuts. So not only does this mean less flight options for you as a traveler, but it makes delays and cancellations more painful when you don't have as many options to fall back on. But here's the thing, even though there's been a decline in domestic flights, there's been an increase in seats. That means more passengers, but less space for you. Maybe you noticed it with the legroom. 20 years ago, you usually had 34 inches to stretch your legs in economy class. Now, some airlines push 28 inches. No wonder your legs are hitting the seat in front of you. And then there's the extra fees. Remember when checked bags cost nothing? Well, beginning in 2008, airlines started charging you for each bag, and now those fees make up billions of their revenue. More money for airlines, but more stress for us because now more passengers tend to bring carry-on bags to avoid those fees, which means more competition to board the plane first to claim overhead space. So what are some airlines doing? Charging for priority boarding. It's a cycle of fees. And if you think all of this is annoying for you, think about the workers. On some planes, a flight attendant with this smile is rare. Flight attendants are often only paid when the plane is physically in the air. So no money for layovers, delays, or helping you with your heavy bag if you get an overhead bin to begin with. Thanks. Oh, and the biggest shakeup in the last decade? Mergers. Since 2000, 10 major US airlines have merged to form four, creating the ultimate airline oligarchy. That means 80% of all domestic US travel happens on one of the four big airlines. So what does that mean for you? Well, consumer advocates are worried about the drop in competition, which means airlines can collude to keep prices high. Earlier this year, the Department of Justice even opened an investigation to see if this is true. But ticket prices have gone down this year and profits are back up for the four big airlines. This is partly due to lower global oil prices. But are cheap prices enough for us consumers? What can airlines do to actually make us happy travelers? 